Hello everyone, it's Gavin here from Hologram Productions and, and today I'm very excited because I'm going to be working on the music of the one and only Bonobo. Cards on the table right from the beginning and say that Bonobo is, all things considered, my favourite producer. Just down to his sheer consistency of quality throughout almost everything he's done, even when he's changed genres. I've listened to pretty much all of it. It's one of my biggest influences on my own music and I've decided to choose one particular track to focus on in this video and I will absolutely take requests from people who want me to do breakdowns of other of his tracks. I'm happy to do several of them because I do enjoy his music that much. So let's have a quick listen to Ibrick and quickly break down the sounds that we're going to need. It opens with the sound of a kalimba and then the Armenian duduk comes in in the background and then some organic shakers. And then we get a break beat uh, with some organic claps, which vary every time, some distant vocals, a syncopated bass line with a bit of FM on it, I suspect. Then there's that famous square lead. Then you get an ethereal piano solo with some strings. So let's start with the... Draw on the break beat kick. I'm using the original sample to begin with, just as a reference. But the kick we're going to be using is from a sample uh, by Folk, Lefty's Bar. And I'm going to give it a bit more love using Drum Bus, which just thickens it and gives it a bit more bass. Now for the claps, I found this sample on YouTube. you got to learn to listen to the real world because usable samples are absolutely everywhere. I bounce this to audio and tighten the transients, boost the highs, cut off the lows, and give it a bit of stereo with using delay in these settings. Then a second line transposed a bit higher. Together they represent the width and the top end. But on their own they're not thick enough so we're going to need more. Got a thick clap from this sample here. And then another top layer from uh, another track. And then we're going to work them all together. Group them all together and do some parallel compression. Uh, we want to affect the settings so that one version is loose and the other version has very tight transients to make it more punchy. Here's the loose version. And the tight version. See how I tighten the transients on the drum bus, it makes it thicker. Then both together. Now we need to add some organic shakers. Here's line number one, which I used in my organic house video and a second percussion loop, which I transposed up and tightened the transients. This is what it sounded like originally, and then I put it up, it sounds better. And again, using the delay to give it some width, cut off the lows, boost some of the highs. Now I need some Foley. Here's a random field recording of me playing with an elastic band, and I just loop a small section of it. There's also a random jingle sound in there, and I stole this from Sleepy7. Cool. Now it's time to move on to the bass. As I said before, it is a syncopated pluck bass pattern, and I'm using a variation on the saw wave with a bit of envelope, and then a second oscillator with just a little bit of FM just to make the texture a little bit more interesting. Saturate it, and then boost the bass using the EQ. There's also a part in the track when the notes go up an octave and have a bit of reverb, so I resampled it, transposed it up, cut off the lows and add some reverb. And then you can do both together, so it has that nice airy texture to it. Cool, now it's finally time to move on to the Start with the simple sine wave and try to draw in the MIDI as best you can following this. Add a bit of swing. You notice those drop down notes, because you need those, that's also important for the character of the sound. Square wave, turn on the unison, noise unison, then a second oscillator with a bit more noise, which just adds a bit more noise texture to the top end. Glue it, so therefore whenever you open up the filter it doesn't get too loud. A bit of slapback echo, and a bit of room. And now you've more or less got it. He may very well have used an analog synth to create the sound, but I think this is damn as near as close as you're going to get using digital. Really nice. Okay, so now we need to move on to the... Start with sine wave. I drew in some nice big wide open chords. Slow attack, slow decay. 
I'm using a saw, pulling down the filter, adding noise unison again, which just has a nice texture to it, a little bit of movement on the LFO, and a second oscillator with a bit of FM, again, just make the sound interesting. And then a lot of reverb, redux, cutting off the lows, delay, reverb. Then you get a real string pack from British Toolkit, and these sound really nice. These are just for the breakdown. Okay, now this being a bonobo track, we're gonna need to add a lot more stuff. Start with the Armenian Duduk sample in C minor. Give it a bit of width, dynamic tube, EQ, radio EQ, because it's very mono sounding in the original track. And some piano chords for the breakdown section. Follow the MIDI as you see here. This is a plugin called Una Corda, which is very, very popular with music producers because it's got a very, very organic feel. And you can boost the sound of the fabric, the harmonics, and also the sound of the pianist. Now, normally for the step for the kalimba, I would just find a YouTube video, but because I couldn't find the exact melody anywhere on YouTube, I decided to recreate it using this plugin. But I wanted to bounce it to audio and tighten the transients because they were a bit punchier in the original track. Duplicate a version and put it down 12 notes, a full octave, and then add it to the beginning. And it sounds very close to what the beginning sounds like. We're almost done, we just need to add one last touch, which is the... I found a completely random acapella on YouTube. Not particularly good audio quality, but because it's so far in the distance, it doesn't really matter. And I used the slice technique in Simpler, as you can see here, in order to find a few random slices and then rhythmically draw them in. This is a really, really good way of getting something rhythmic out of your voice. And slap on the reverb. So the palette is more or less complete. Now it's time to listen to the arrangement. Shameless plug alert, but as always, all of the samples that I create in the video are available on my Bandcamp, so you can listen to them and use whichever ones you wish. Anyway, no more distractions, back to the arrangement.
enjoyed doing that one because it's one of my favorites uh, a couple of things which i think are worth noting um when it comes to getting your samples you do need to learn how to be creative when it comes to not only how you use the samples but also how you source them you need to learn how to just listen to the real world youtube videos films uh vinyl tracks your favorite wh whatever you can basically hear usable samples almost anywhere in the world you don't always have to resort to uh stock packs because artists like this don't do that. They listen to samples in the real world and they try to manipulate them in an original manner. So I'm looking forward to doing another video like this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all guys very soon. Subscribe.